Hey, this is Web Suspect, and I'm going to do a, a video on marketing trends and values. I got interested in this when I was going to college and working at the grocery store GTA TPC, the great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. And I would get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, watch the morning business <laughs> news reports for a half an hour. I don't know what possessed me to do this. Like, I, I really, people make jokes, I'm not. <laughs> I did this for like a whole year. I would get up 6 o'clock. No, it was early at 6 o'clock. I had to be at work at 6.30. I'd get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, get dressed, take a shower, and watch the morning business <laughs> reports. I did this for like a whole year. Then I would walk to the grocery store, come home, do my homework, and go to college. So there's been some rumors that Apple might buy Tesla. I can't go into why. It's, um, it's just a rumor. <laughs> That Apple might buy Tesla. Now, the, the the number that's been thrown out on the internet is seventy-five million dollars, and as you can see, Tesla is climbing right now, real time. It's gone up four dollars a share to two hundred sixteen dollars a share. Now, the number that's thrown around is seventy-five billion dollars. Now, in the last year, Tesla has lost a hundred million dollars, and Bloomberg reports that Tesla tops thirty billion as Morgan Stanley boosts out. The traded stock market value is $215 a share. Now, when you do marketing trends and value, what you do is you compare a similar product. So, I know something about General Motors. <laughs> I know something about General Motors. General Motors is worth $38 billion. If people know me, I like to call them government motors. <laughs> so, compare. Okay, so you compare government motors, the biggest U.S. corporate failure in... <laughs> <laughs> this video is just so ridiculous. The biggest, uh, the biggest U.S. manufacturing <laughs> company. They failed recent years. They used to have a big lot like near my house. It was like a ten-acre or five-acre lot full of cars. Now it's empty. It's totally empty. And General Motors now markets their cars like every other company. They have zero, zero uh, lot stock. And I guess if you need a car, they order the car front for you from the factory, and they have maybe like fifty or hundred cars sitting out. Uh, <clears throat> I have to go back trend back backpedal and see if I get any more information. So so keep in mind General Motors net worth is about thirty eight billion. Now they have they have uh dealerships all over the US, not as many as they used to go to the dealership, order a car, they may have a few there. But the the, the US automaker set this all up that when you buy a car or you sell a car, you have to have a dealership to sell cars. And interestingly enough, here's a story. Is Tesla's market value worth really half as much as GM? Almost about the same. They're almost on par. So Tesla, they're selling their cars for about a hundred grand and you could buy a General Motors Chevy product for about ten or well, twenty grand is probably worth about ten and this website failed. But people are already thinking how much is Tesla worth? How do you value? Tesla has zero car dealerships. They're not allowed to buy a Tesla in Maryland, certain in other states, because of these laws. Uh, should laws be there to protect consumers from fly-by-night car dealerships? And you're not buying a toaster oven, uh, oven or a computer. You're buying something that's a durable goods product, and it needs to be guaranteed for a couple of years and, and all that. So what happens if Tesla goes bankrupt tomorrow? And Tesla, like many other big companies we know, doesn't have a marketing strategy. Like, they have a product, but they have no clue how to market their product. And even if they hired somebody from General Motors tomorrow, they still wouldn't be able to market their product. So how do you market a Tesla? Do you, do you go online and buy a Tesla online and a big truck comes with a big box? Like when you buy something at the Apple store, it's got a package with a plastic box over top and you open it and... Maybe there's an instruction manual <laughs> and a cord for you to plug it into your house. I don't know. I mean, the cars sell for about a hundred grand grand a piece, and they got a new models coming out, and they have an 89 kilowatt engine and a three phase motor. And you post something on Elon Musk about, hey, you know, this car's got everything from but a power inverter for you to plug your TV and your refrigerator into it. Hey, hey, we can add that too. They finally figured it out. You know, for a little bit more, we can add a power inverter. But it's like, why wouldn't you think of that if you made the car? It shows me very two-dimensional thinking that 
this guy's made an electric car. He's got a solar company, but he's not going to give you a power inverter with your car. So you can run your 120 volt appliances. So, you know, uh, $200 a sh share of stock and $216.37 for General Motors. So, the question is, you know, if Apple was going to buy Tesla, why not buy General Motors instead? Is General Motors better value? Well, you know, the thing is, is you would have to totally turn General Motors upside down to, to make a product. It's like they're two totally opposite companies. General Motors knows how to market a car. Their stock is losing value. They're down three cents and and Tesla is up four dollars. So like if you wanted to have a car company for XYZ reasons and make a particular product then you could buy General Motors, fire everybody, and force them to make the product you want, and then the marketing's already there. Or do you buy Tesla, and there's no marketing there, and you have to create your own marketing product, but, you know, in a year or so, you could possibly have the product you're trying to build on the market. Oh, look at this! You put how much Tesla's worth, and somebody's got the Apple logo up next to the Tesla logo. Look at that! I'll tell you, these internet people are very savvy. I'm going to go to this page and see what's going on in this page. Musk Tesla could be worth as much as Apple one day. They're comparing. You can't compare Teslas to Apples.